All right, baby. That's that tag. That's how I was rocking out. Subbers. Just the same way I was able to get this shoe on payment plan. Because I'm not making... I ain't no money guy. I, I'm broke. I'm a broke guy. <laughs> Always poor. But the same way I can get this shoe for my nephews. Same way the winner. Subbers. If you spend five, one dollar, ten dollars. As y'all sit there and watch people spend millions and thousands and thousands of dollars. I'm not going to say millions, but thousands of dollars to advertise and show you stuff. Same way I got this. Same way it could have been, hey, I won this one for 10. I won the raffle, battled, whatever, you know, say your commentary, then putting it on your feet, showing me the thing, no music at all. We can get these same retail shoes that some of them you can't even get retail no more. For a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars. I always make it litty. I want to get these raffles popping. It doesn't make sense to wait all that pocket watching the next raffle, watching it like an accident, like you don't want to be in an accident, but you just want to see it. That same way how y'all treating the raffle. Y'all watch me spend a lot of money for the ones that been there for the longest, the ones that just came on there, see the videos. Yo, shoes expensive. I don't care if you get it on payment plan or whatever. It's expensive. Yeah, sneaker community got an illusion. <laughs> like, y'all yeah, think like this thing must fall off a tree, or y'all yeah, just don't be caring because everybody keeps having it all the time. Some people can get it all the time. You don't know how they doing it to get it. There. Even to the biggest people, you don't know what they do to get it. It's just that a lot of them can make their money back with two hundred dollar video just off the video. So if you're a person who get mad views. You can get make two two hundred on the video. It paid for your shoe, but then somebody like me who been doing videos, I never get paid like that. My highest paid video for five years is like fifteen dollars. <laughs> so, you know, let's get out the fantasy, bro. Oh, this shoe right here was hard because Champs was the only one that had it, and I think Foot Action too, even though they're all down with the same thing, but they had it every time they were selling it. It was always on back order. So this would have been a hard one to do. They got them there now. I'm not going to attempt to do the uh, the raffle unless y'all put down, yo, you ready to get down for it? And then we could do it for $10. And if you act real quick, if you're only going to be battling, I think it's 185, you'd be battling 19 players. Because I capped it in the beginning, so I don't even make a dollar. <laughs> I just want the raffle to pop. Lateral. Medial, nice summer to me. Spring shoe, like right now, is I see eighty to ninety degrees on uh Phoenix. Lucky people in Arizona and uh Texas and all them different places, they hot. So this is what it is. Uh, this model right here uh, was mostly with Scotty Pippen, which was for those that don't know, he was like Robin to Michael Jordan. The shoe sometimes always has like synthetic leather too up on here. I'm going to say the outer layers here where they got that tumble. That's the leather. Underneath layer is like a, um, a synthetic type um, patent leather. That's what it's giving you there. So it is a, like a patent leather, like a little plastic over it. It looks nice. One thing about this model though, and then the, um, this regular thing here, I'm going to say it's leather, but sometimes this is either be synthetic. Up on here. I always like the, how they put the embroidery of the Nike sign on top of the toe box. And then the toe cap. I wrap around it. It went with that mesh, mesh tongue. They always had a little bungee. Put two there. And the regular parts right there. Then they got the two black plastic pieces. And then up here. Over here, they put this little plastic piece on here uh, in the middle. That's where they stitched it on to the, um, the mesh tongue. And they put that there. It's supposed to be ray gun. So ray gun colors. Bang, bang. I guess ray gun maybe could be soccer. I never, you know, did the math on it. I like how that looked back in the back, that swoosh. That is plastic, like a plastic coating over it. So that's nice right there. And then the bubble. On the uh, medial side, 
it has the night and then on the okay on both sides so me and lateral they both got that night right there that hit which is nice the problem with this shoe which it always be is the midsole this midsole here they don't like i've been saying in my videos it just don't because i don't get a lot of people all the time it doesn't hit traction but they're not taking the pieces like all the midsole pieces they don't check it before they throw it on assembly line so they just throw it on assembly line so some might be coming to stress some might have the pimples on it and they just put it in there and then when it goes through the system it'll just go through the system and you'll just get whatever you get and sometimes on the bubble you'll get like a little paint left over there which is up on it but the midsole will be shot sometimes they'll be having like i said the pimple or the distress look and they got to cut it out there's mad people spending money. This one has these little um, problems on here where I like it. It was with my nephew. I have to wipe some of the things off. I'm seeing a little thing right here, too. I'm just going to wipe that off. I don't think that's nothing, but I'm going to wipe it off. But, yeah, that's it on the whole. It's a nice shoe, but they always mess up on the midsole. I didn't realize even when I had my New York one when I bought it five years ago. First messing around with the sneaker community. That um, even on those, on the midsole, it had the pimples. Now, I have to go back on my video see if I mention it. Because I'm somebody always trying to mention the details of on there. So, I don't know if I did. I said I was going to check recently. Look back over here. But, yeah, I'm about to get out of here. It's a nice shoe. They are running out. But they did come on the thing there. I'm going to leave the, uh, the link. If you want to get that raffle started, you let me know. I'm sure most of y'all, <laughs> like I said, well, um, play the plan comes up to 46, something like that. So I ain't no hater. I just wish that people would do the payment plan and also try to get like double up shorty and get one and pay one with the $10 raffle and just to help out the raffle channel and say, hey, if I win, I win one for 10. If I lose, I just lose $10. The inside lining is black and then the uh, insole look like a dingy, a dingy color white. And then the ray gun color. All right, I'm about to go. Nothing underneath the tongue, I don't think. Yeah, it's just a size. All right, baby. I'm about to get out of here. Give you one little closer look. So you can just see it. The in hand look when you're like, oh, let me see how this shit look. Let me see how this shit, I don't know. I'm about to get out of here. Zoom out in a second, but that's the enlarged look. That's the underneath. Let me zoom out of here real quick. Here we go. That's the underneath. So I'm rocking out. And that's that in here look. Yeah, that white door. And then that medial. Let's get that medial. And this side, you can really see how both sides is put them. Both sides do this with the shoe. This is where you start to see like both of them. You can see how both sides came. And this is where I'll be saying that with the same side, this side right here look more distressed. So to me, if you're checking the pieces that be inside the, um, the cart before you put it on the semi line, the ones that be distressed or the one that has the, um, the pimples, you put that to the side. Because you see on this side, it really doesn't have as much distress as that side. See right here. Look cool. They go over there, look distressed. Distressed. So that's all it is. <laughs> they just go ahead, and that's what all these um companies need to tell them. Stop throwing this stuff on top of the assembly line. Before you check, before you go on the assembly line, check all the pieces of whatever part you working with. Check them all out. The ones that's messed up, you throw it to the side. <laughs> and then later on, if y'all want to sell that for a sale price, that's what y'all do. I'm out of here, consumer. Peace.